Okay, so this is how you use front page slideshow to add uh, pictures to a module and then place it anywhere you want within the site. So I've come into the back end and this is our regular control panel. This is how you get back to this page. And then I'm going to components and front page slideshow. And we already created a category here called December 2012. And now we're going to add the slide to that category. So I'm clicking add new slide. And then I'm going to go in and, and say what I want it to apply to. So uh, right now it's set for a custom URL, but we can also link it to an article or link it to a menu item. And then this would be the title of the slide. I'm just going to call this, uh, we, and you can go in and change these things later. This is just for demo purposes. So landscape sign. And you can call it anything you like. And then you can put in some entry text here if you like. And this is how you could insert a read more button. But you don't need to put anything. And you can also put a tagline here if you like. So now I need to uh, capture the image that we want to use. So I'm going down here. And you can see that it will resize to whatever we tell it to. And currently we have it set for 500, so that's fine. If we wanted to upload directly from our computer, we could select here to produce file. If we already have it in our media manager, like we do, we can just browse server. And that will take us into our photo directory. Then I'm entering our folder we created for this purpose. And here's the one that had the landscape and the sign. So it will upload that for us. And then size it to fit whatever we've set our parameters at. So this is the component portion, and it's a, a it's a two-part process, so I'm going to save and close this with just one slide in it for now. And then to show you how it works uh, in in whole, I'm going now. The component is what is like a, a program with inside Joomla that makes everything work. The module is the block that you put outside on the site. So I'm going to go now to Extensions and Module Manager, and I'm going to clear out my filters so that I can see the, uh, what we're working on. And one of the things I like to do that's convenient is any of these columns you can sort on. And every new item gets an ID number. So I'll click the ID column twice to sort and put all the most recent things I'm working on at the top. And that makes the bell easier to find. So here's front page slideshow. You can see that it's currently unpublished and not in any position. I'm going to open up front page slideshow. I'm going to put it in position user1, which will appear at the top of the page. I'm going to make it published, but for the moment, I'm going to make it special so that when we log in, we're the only people who can see it until we have it looking the way you want it to. Now, over here on parameters, it says select one or more categories to show. I'm going to say just show December 2012 as our category, and we do want to include featured slides. These are all the different templates and ways that you can display it. So once we have it up, feel free to go in here and experiment with some of these and see which one you like the best. So I know you like something that's clean and simple. Let's start with something called simple and see what that looks like. And then here's where you can control the width of the actual photos and the height. And then this is your sidebar controls. So you can also set those to zero if you don't like the little you know side thing. And then there are all these different options down here that you can control. Uh, thumbnail size, you know, for the views whether or not you want titles and things to show. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that most of these are inherited from the category, which makes it easy to just set them all in the category settings and not have to worry about it individually. Mm -hmm. And then whether or not you want to disable slide links, word limits for the text, etc. And then there are advanced options down here that you don't really have to do anything with, but just so you know, that's what's there. So it's published, it's in that position, it's in special. And we need to tell it which pages to show on. So instead of no pages, I'm going to say only on the pages selected. And in this case, we could put it in the main menu. And I'll just put it there on the home page so we can see what that looks like. But the key is that that's set to special so that only we can see it right now. now. Sometimes there are so many settings when you do this the first time, it might not show. But we'll go in and figure out why. <laughs> so I'm going to go back here to our home page now. And it won't show obviously, but I'll, I want to make sure of that. So I'm going to refresh the page, and there we're good. We didn't change anything. Now when I log in, 
there it is. So only we can see it. So this gives us a chance to experiment with the look, the layout. You'll notice this This is that simple option, and it's got more of a, there's only one photo there right now, but this looks more like the wedge. Uh, some of the things I generally don't like is showing the author, and there's the tagline. And so these are the kinds of things you can control in that uh, component setting. So if I go back in and just save and close. And I went into my, um, in back into the component and front page slideshow and go into my categories. I can go back to that category and change those settings. And where it says show author, I'm going to say no, hide that. And tagline, I'll say hide that. And now if I save that again, and go back out and reload the page. You'll see that now that tagline, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but this could link back to an article or wherever mm -hmm. we want it. Okay. It also tracks. Yeah. So when we go back in, it will show how many people have clicked on different photos. Mm -hmm. So you can gauge what's appealing to people and what's not. The, any question you'd like me to answer while we're uh, recording? Not about the slideshow. I have some other questions. So okay. you can stop recording if you want for a yeah. second. Um, very 